Yeah, go on. So obviously, I'm new here, yeah? This is the second time I've been here. I'm a big fan festival. Check your hand. Nice yeah? to meet you. I've seen your videos, yeah? We've been talking a Here's lot, a yeah? Thank you. We've been talking a lot about God because of you. Yeah. yeah? Thank you so much, God. I'm a bit stressed because there's cameras all over, yeah? Yeah. But I've heard that there is um, six or seven books missing from the Bible. Yeah. And that's, um, that's a problem with me, so I would, I would like to ask you. So the question is, guys, what, what different so so let me give some context to the question different christians have different collections of books in their bibles if you pick up an ethiopian orthodox bible you're going to have 81 books in your bible if you pick up a roman catholic book you're going to have 72 books in your bible and if you pick up a reformed church bible you're going to pick up 66 books in your bible so what's the significance of this? I want to point out some facts that lots of people don't know when they, when they make this comment. Christians have 100% agreement about the 27 books of the New Testament. And Christians believe that you can be saved by just believing in one of the Gospels. Which is in the New Testament. So in other words, Everything that is necessary for salvation can be found in every Bible owned by every kind of Christian. There are, however, differences of books that we still should talk about. And those books are connected to the Old Testament. In other words, they are books that are not necessary for salvation. But some Christians believe that you can teach from them in church. And uh, don't, don't let him distract you guys. Don't let him distract you. Some Christians believe that you can... Some Christians believe... He's just triggered because he lost the debate. He's just triggered because he lost the debate. But because of him, I'll just go back to Islam and talk more about Islam. So, ladies and gentlemen. So, the, the books in the Old Testament... The books in the Old Testament... Are, are books that some Christians believe you can teach from in church and other Christians believe that you can't teach from in church but they're still good to read like reading C.S. Lewis or G.K. Chesterton right they're not books inspired by, by the Holy Spirit but they are books that you can still read so Luther rejected the extra the, Luther rejected the Deuterio canon but he still encouraged Christians to read it as did John Calvin, as did Zwingli. So all Christians agree that these books are books that we can read, but we disagree about whether we can teach from them in church. However, for what it comes to essential Christian doctrine, we've got 100% agreement. Now compare that to the Muslims. Muslims have no agreement about which hadiths to use to interpret the Quran. They reject one another's hadiths. But depending on which hadiths you use, your Islam is going to look very different. Okay, next question. Any other questions about Christianity? Before I go on and teach a topic. Book of Enoch. What? Book of Enoch. Sorry? Reparations. Right. Conversation before. Yeah. And I think you was trying to shift the focus on Islam with the slavery. Okay, so the question of reparations, let's deal with that. What, is, what are my thoughts as a Christian about the question of reparations? Basically, I come down against the idea of reparations. Why? Well, I'm dealing with a question, bro. Why? Wait, I'm sorry, I'm dealing with this question. I'm sorry, I'm dealing with this question. It's uh, 3356, I think, right? So, in, so why do I think that we shouldn't pay reparations? Firstly, this brother has never been a slave. He is not the victim of colonial European yeah, yeah. slavery. Indirectly, he is not a victim of colonial uh, slavery. That's the first point. Secondly, 
The idea of paying reparations is a sticky wicket because we can't in every case trace out who is a direct victim of uh, who, or who even is a descendant of slavery. What about African immigrants who have moved to the Caribbean? And it was their ancestors that were selling the slaves to the Europeans, but now they're in the Caribbean. Should they receive compensation for slavery? Though their ancestors were participants in the slave trade. Secondly, so we can't necessarily trace out who should get reparations. Thirdly, reparations have been paid in full. The descendants of the slaves have received entire countries of their own. The Caribbean islands belong to the descendants of slaves. Those islands, if you were to take their value in money, goes into trillions of pounds. Forget the fact that the Church of England is considering something ridiculous like one billion. The value of the land in the Caribbean islands is valued in trillions of pounds. And who owns it? Not the British, the descendants of the slaves. Compensation paid in full. Fourthly, fourthly, there is a hypocrisy around demanding compensation from me and people like me. Those no, we, we, we took them and, and placed them there. No, they were uninhabited until we arrived and took people there. So right? The That's the history of the... They didn't belong... They weren't there originally. Well, they weren't ours to give, were they? they wasn't no, they were empty. The they were unoccupied. No one lived there. there. The Caribbean islands but were empty. Go, go and stand yours. next to him and they'll talk to you both. <laughs> go and stand next to him, I'll talk to you both. Let's have a conversation, not a shouting match. You're alluding that we gifted them to them. No. No, they have so that them. that was their rep 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 reparations? They, they do, yes, the Caribbean... To do with that. Well, well, actually it is. The yeah. British Empire, the British Empire did surrender the Caribbean islands to the descendants of slaves. It did, it's just a fact. They weren't ours. Of they were empty, bro. No so one owned like them. They weren't ours to give. So who did they belong to? Well, not us, British. Right, right. If they don't belong, if you find something that doesn't belong to anyone and you pick it up you do you have possession well, they say so possession is nine tenths of the law there you go i'm not sure if that has any legal standing oh uh, it does because if you can't if you if the police can't find the owner of something the person that hands it in after a certain amount of time can claim the thing that they handed in because if they can't find the original well, owners the same principles apply to land well i, I would say so but my point to you is, one, one second. What, 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 one, it, you, there was no one there, bro. Well, can you, can you evidence, can you evidence that somebody was there? Let me ask you this question, though, bro. Do you think that Arab Muslims should pay reparations for 1,400 years of slavery? But no, answer the question. I want, I want to, I want you to answer the question. Why are you running away from the question again? I want you to answer. You're not. You're not Muslim. I want you to answer. I want. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But this is a conversation because I'm about to show again. I think. I, I think you're running away from your own moral inconsistency. You're running away from your own moral inconsistency. Do you believe? I'm asking you a question. Do you believe that Arabs should compensate black people for the Islamic slave trade? Definitely, it was much worse. That was before, but we're dealing with Christianity, Islam, Islam, Christianity. Okay, at least you're consistent. Carry on. Yes. What's your What's your argument? So Christianity, if you've done wrong, reparations. You do reparations. Right. And why not? If you don't. So, so let me address that point, because I haven't done that wrong. You I have not. Been. Wait, wait, one second. First, a couple of things. Firstly, I was not responsible for the slavery of 200, 300 years ago, right? But, I don't know if you know this, my taxes did pay off the national debt connected to slavery because the national debt connected to slavery was only paid off in the last 20 years. So, because when they freed the slaves, and we might disagree, 
we did, well, that's just a fact, bro. When we, when we freed the slaves, which was immoral to do, just like the Arab slavery was immoral to do, the national, the, the government of the time, and we might disagree whether this was right or fair, but it paid off the slave owners. Slave owners yes, yes, I agree. Yeah. Right. But the point is, hold on one second. I contributed to paying off the national debt that was connected to that decision hundreds of years ago, even though I had nothing to do with that slave trade. Think do you think for the free labor of those hundreds of years? Right. Let me ask you a question. Yes. Do you think that you should pay compensation for the fact that African Afri ancestors of yours traded in slaves? Yes, they did. They did. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. Who do you think sold the slaves to us? It was other Africans. Yes, that as well. Yes, because. There were African Muslims who sold slaves to us. Yes, they did. And they did it because of Islam. Go on, bro. Answer my question. Answer my question. Wait, wait. No, I won't. Why are you running away from a question? I won't forget my question. I won't forget a question. I don't know if that's true, but go on. Can I give you this? He's the one that is started. The Arab taught the European how to sell people. Almina Castle in Ghana is an Arabic name. Mina means port. Yes. You understand? <laughs> no black man, no melanated man sold each other. This is a propaganda created by the Arabs, people from Central Asia and the caste system. Okay, right, let me reply to that. Yeah. You are going to have to provide evidence yes. that demonstrates that uh, Africans have never practiced slavery. One second, one second. Because we know, we know that in places like Malawi, in places like North Africa, one second, one second, right? There are, there are accounts by, for instance, Livingstone, who was in the Sudan, and he tells the story of African Muslims trading other Africans as slaves. They didn't do it because they were black. They didn't do it because they were black. They did it because of Islam. All the history, all the history, all the way in history. It certainly wasn't because they were black. Should Arabs, should Arabs, should Arabs compensate? Should Arabs compensate black people for their slave trade? Yes, yes, yes. Should, should we? Right. Yes. One second. One second. Let, let's deal. Let's deal with. Yeah. Let's deal with the argument about reparations. <laughs> let's deal with God. You asked me a question, yeah? Yes. North Africa. Yes. The slave trade has started by the Arab and people. Who I agree. The, the Arab, well, no, that's not true. Actually, that's not true. I take that back. I take that back. They Arab. They're not Arab. They are. They are Bedouins. The word Arab it means Negro. It came from the Turkish people. Do you understand? No, yes. Arab doesn't. Arab it means from the Turks. CG. The Arab it means a black man. No, I'm, I'm not so sure that's true. I'm not, not so sure that's true. You're not sure. I'm going to show you the facts. All right, you don't want to speak Turkish, do you? You don't. No, so I'll, I'll have a conversation with you, but let's have a conversation okay. where we talk to one another. All right. That means I get to reply. All right. Yeah, that's fine. Right. So let me explain to you again. So the, the Arab and the Asiatic Hindu introduced that slave trade to the European. The Arabs started the slave trade in North Africa and the Horn of Africa. Like the Somali, they're slaves of the people that can have I, been can I reply? And like the Ethiopians, they're I reply? also slaves. Can I reply? These guys have been a Okay. Were the Egyptians Africans? Yes. 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 Did they own slaves? Who are you talking about? Yes. I'm what talking about the pharaohs. The pharaohs? Yes. Were they, were what, they Africans? What dynasty? The, the earliest. The earliest dynasty that never sold no one. Right. So, so. If you're talking about what, the one, Hyksos, what, what, one second. Yeah. Right. They came over. The, these men came through China. They came through Jordan River. Right. There was common men, yeah. No. There was common men that no, no, came through brother, Jordan River. Brother. They come through Israel. Brother. They cross over the Jordan okay. River. Okay. Shall we have a conversation? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So, so I'm not, right. That dynasty. So, 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 yeah. so the thing is, the yeah. thing is, yeah. it, it's pretty well established, yeah. even today. Yeah. That, that Africans are trading in slaves. If you go to Malawi, no. yes, they, yes, they no, do. If you go to Mali, if you what go year? to Mali, what year? now, right now, 
If you go to Mali right now, you can find African Muslims who own other African Muslims as slaves. That is not true. That is true. That's not true. Oh my gosh, that right. Is it is true. Is it is true. Is true. Even he agrees with Right, okay. Where in Mali? Where in Mali? It is true. Where is it in Mali? It's true. Where is it in Mali? Right. Where is it in Mali? No, is that true, bro? No, is that true? I'm telling you it's not true. This is an old propaganda. It's not true. The Central Asiatic man came over through the Jordan River with their camels and with their stuff here and they start selling black melanated people. Right, so one second. Yeah. Right, ladies and gentlemen, hold on. It's Let's. not true. Bear with us. Bear with us. Right. So let me just give you a stat, ladies and gentlemen. Let me let me just give you a stat. You're triggered. You're triggered. Let, let, let me just give you a stat from from the anti-slavery society. Forced labour in sub-Saharan Africa today is estimated at six hundred and sixty thousand people. So over half a million, over half a million slaves currently exist in Africa right now. And the majority of those are owned by Muslims, ladies and gentlemen. So, I'm afraid, bear with me. Right, places where slavery is prevalent. Eritrea, Mauritania, South Janjo Sudan, North Wade. Sudan. They are known as the Janja Wade. The yes. Janja Wade, which means the radicals. They're Arabized they're Africans. No, 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 they're no, Arabized no, no. Africans. No, no, Janja Wade are not Africans. Remember, they're Arabized South Africans. No, no, no. Yes, they are. Hold, hold they're Arabized South Africans. Asia. Because you're not having South a conversation no, no, and you're no, just no, talking no, over no, me. No, no, no. Then I'm just going to talk over you, if, no, because you've just been talking over me the whole time. So until you learn to have a conversation, I'm just going to keep talking. And I'll keep talking until you allow me to speak without interruption, and then we'll have a conversation. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's just talk about the Janjaweed. Who are the Janjaweed? You never hear about them in the liberal media because the liberal media don't want to tell you the story of the Islamic slave trade that is happening right which, which now, ladies and gentlemen. The Sudanese civil war occurred, occurred in the, 90, the late 1900s yeah. because the Sudanese government wanted to the Arabize the African people the of Wade South government. Sudan don't say and the South Sudanese Wade. Christians the refused to be Arabized and they fought back and a civil war occurred yeah. in Sudan that went on for 18 years 18 years in which Islamic armies marched into Christian villages and killed Two million African Christians. Ten million. Two million. Ten million. Lying, Ladies and gentlemen, they also raped African Ten Christian million. women. They also Ten kidnapped million. Million. African Christian Ten children. Exactly. And nobody happen? heard Ten about it because the liberal talk. media doesn't want to tell you the narrative, the story of Islamic aggression against Christian communities. The Janjaweed were the principal militant force of this Islamic Jihad. The Janjaweed are Africans, ladies and gentlemen, who have been Islamified and Arabized they think that they are Arabs. They speak in Arabic and they practice Arabic culture. And that is who we're talking about, ladies and gentlemen. So anyone else got a question because this guy's just incapable of having a conversation. You haven't listened to anything that I've been saying. You've been saying about the Janja Wade. Tough. No I'm not interested. Do you, you want to come back to your question or are you done? You know I'm quite interested. I'm quite interested. Well, I'm done talking to him because he's incapable of having a conversation. That's unfortunate. Have you got a question? Have you got a question? You can't debate me. You can't debate. Bro, you can't debate. You can't debate. No one's running. We're just having a shouting match. No, we're not. No, we're not debating. 
you were just having a shouting match because you take your now because 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 one second one second no hold on a minute you're gonna have to listen to me speak okay right i've given you evidence that slavery is being practiced in africa right now by africans so your claim that Africans have never sold people as slaves yes. is factually false because it's, it's going false. on right now. Explain to me why it's false. Okay, why it's false? The Janja Wade, those people that are known as the Janja Wade, remember, black people don't exist only in Africa. South Asia are black. Yeah, they're black people as well. So what they've done is they have brought Muslim people from South Asia into the Horn of Africa and North Africa. And those ones, are, some of them are Muslim as well. Those who are known as the Janja way. Like for example, the Hemorites in Yemen, yeah, in Socotra and other people. They brought them in through North Africa and through the Sudan and area and they said these people are from Africa. Black people existed in South Asia too. Like there's many tribes in South Asia. Like, like, like the Dalits, the Dalits in South Asia, like the Rohingya people in South Asia, the Bengali, the Gujarati, all of those, those are black people and some of them are Muslims. So the Jains are and radicals, so they start in their own caliphate for Yemen. They're coming through that small happening with the Rohingya people in South Asia. And this is what it's been about. But yes, saying black people are saying black people, no, that's not true. Why black South Asia? Can I reply now? Can I, can I, okay, but just one minute. Because black people in South Asia, they've also been ostracized through the caste system. So they brought them over as slave mercenaries. They came into Sudan, they came into Ethiopia, they came into North Africa, and they started selling black native people in North Africa. Okay, so right. So, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. what you hear is delusional, counterfactual thinking. The brother is trying to slay the Africans don't deal in slaves today. So I'm going to read from you the African Union's own 10-year plan, action plan, to eradicate child labor, forced labor, human trafficking, and modern slavery in Africa by 2030. And what they state, this is an African Union source, so it is a African source. They state that there are, as of 2016, there are 72 million African children in child labor, 3 million adults in forced labor, and 5.8 million in forced marriages, or in other words, sexual slavery. So the idea that Africans are not practicing slavery is counterfactual against the evidence. The African Union says that slavery exists in Africa today. So I want you to correct yourself and admit that Africans are trading in slaves. Go on. The African Union, what you're saying is delusional. As well, the Afri I call it the African Union. The African Union have run and funded by Europe. And where it was the African Union is in Ethiopia. They have manipulated Ethiopia is being colonised from the 1800s. So the African Union is being colonised as well. So when they manipulate the news, where are the African Union when the Janja Weed have all arrived more than 10 million people in the Sudan? Great question. And people in those areas. Great question. The African Union have been funded by the Janja Weed and the Arabs. Where were all the Africa, where's all the black activists and black militants speaking out against Islamic jihad against African Christians. So it's a great African question. Yeah, let me finish. Let me finish. The However, the are, we talk, are we just shouting over one another? Right? So the fact of the matter is, he hasn't actually addressed the evidence. All he has done is say that the African Union is some colonized organization, yes. but he hasn't disproven the fact that Africans are dealing in slaves today in Africa. They're not African. Are Kenyans African? There are South Asiatic black people who migrated in. Are Nigerians African? I can tell you that We're there is Nigeria. African slave trade. I've what lived in Africa. What are you talking about in Nigeria? Are you it's talking no, about the Fulani Janjaweed? What are you talking about? 
transported on semi trucks. What are you talking the about? Back of yeah. Which one are you talking about, though? And that's what I'm saying to you, because when you're talking about, you're talking about specific people that were migrated from the other side of the sea and colonized the land. As they brought in, as brought them in as mercenaries, and those are the ones called as the Janjaweed radicals. Right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the brother is just incapable of engaging the argument. Right? No, I am not. not let's be clear. I want to be clear. Okay. I'm not trying to justify European slavery. Right? I'm not trying to justify European colonization. Right? But I do think, I do think, I do think, and, I, and one thing that I will respect this brother for is that he's the first African or out of a man of African no, listen, descent listen to me. that has listen. spoken against the Arab slave trade. And it's about time that more black people speak against the Arab slave trade the and the Islamic the slave trade, yes. ladies and gentlemen. The Trans-Saharan slave trade continued for 1400 years. However, since we're talking about reparations, let's try and move this conversation forward. If we're talking about reparations, do Africans who have traded in slavery also owe reparations to the people of the Caribbean? Should no. African nations also pay reparations? I'm not answered. I'm yeah, not answered. go on. All right. I have to say one thing. No. Why is no? The people that were sold us as black people, yeah, they're not the indigenous native black people in Africa. Those are after the defeat of the Moors in the 1400 and 1492. You have people, Asiatic people, have migrated through the sea and they and were known as Arab or Bedouins. They have sold people into the, so if there's anyone want to pay reparations, is the Arab and Trans-Saharan Arab slave trade are the one that need to pay reparations. And they are responsible to this day. The Europeans are not responsible for the, uh, the Trans-Saharan slave trade. The Arabs, and they are still to this day in North Africa. The slavery side in North Africa. Amina Castle in Mali was known as Amina Castle because of the Arabic name. Okay. Amina means port in Arab. So let me reply to that. Yeah. So firstly, your statement that the, the slavery started in North Africa is false. No, it's not. The Romans, the Romans and the, the Greeks practiced slavery before the Arabs invaded North Africa. Where's your evidence? Here's my evidence. Here's my evidence. Slavery is mentioned in the New Testament, which is a Roman document from the first century. And Jesus and the apostles talk about slavery. That is 700 years before Islam. Which means that, which means that slavery existed before, before Islam in Africa and the Middle East. It is not the invention of any one society. Every society has its own history in slavery. Let me give you the opinion of two historians, John Thornton and Linda Haywood of Boston University have estimated that of the Africans captured and then sold as slaves to the New World in the Atlantic slave trade, 90% of them were enslaved by fellow Africans. That's what historians are saying and all this brother is saying is, well, I disagree. I want to see his evidence. I want to see his academic evidence. You are quoting, you are quoting uh, people that basically write in their own account, but they don't know that this guy is also delusional. Because what they do is they write stuff and they say this is what has happened in their own account. It's a sport. This guy's a troublous. You know what I mean? I'm telling you the real facts. If you go and go to the British Museum right now, you can tell. If you can go to also the first black Roman emperor is like something similar. The Arab slave trade is the first that started through a caste system where people came from South Asia. The slave trade was alive and well during Abraham's day. Yes. 
Yeah, yeah, but the Abrahamic, I'm, I'm not talking about the Abrahamic. You're talking about the Abrahamic. I'm not talking about the Abrahamic. Are you dismissing? Are you dismissing? What's I'm your name, bro? About Arab slavery, Zonji. Zonji. Yes. Let me ask you this question. Zonji, are you saying that you disagree with these historians about the slave trade because they're European? No, no, no. Because they're a psychology. They don't want to. Yeah? They want to put the blame on the native people. The native people never sold each other. Wait. Because they want to get away from the blame. They want so can to I say, oh, let me reply to that. Let me reply to and that. Manipulated the books. How can somebody that's been cornered and enslaved show each other? Can I can How I reply to that? that? Can I reply to that? Yeah. The 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 African slave trade. It, like like I'm going to give you another historian. This one's an African historian. Ah. Adouard Beatricia Nwabani wrote for the Wall Street Journal on the African role in the transatlantic and trans-Saharan slave trade. She observes that the 400th anniversary of the arrival of the slaves in Virginia coincide with the question about guilt and responsibility and a debate in the United States about reparations or to the descendants of slaves. She observes that this fraught debate is largely absent in Africa, even though Africans were deeply involved in the slave trade. So that's three historians now that have all said that Africans participated in the slave trade. Can you find me one historian? One second. Wait, wait, here's my... One, one second. One second. One second. Can you... Well, listen. Can you show me... A half, uh, an historian who teaches that Africans did not participate in the slave trade. Okay, can I reply? Historian, that means history, his story. The black man have never told their story the way they are. They've had indoctrinated by either the Arabs or the European teaching. Most of the education system have been put in Africa and other places have been put by people that will colonize them. So even when they had the Bible and had the Abrahamic, they also have been indoctrinated. So how 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 dare you come and tell and tell me this historian, they can free historians, they've been whited. They took away the education system, their language, everything they have. And you are coming over trying to tell me these historians are telling their own. How how the how the hell do they not know? Okay. They don't know anything. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bring I'm gonna bring I'm you, brother. You go back, can I reply? Because I'm going to bring this conversation to a close. But the reason why I'm going to bring this conversation to a close is because it does not matter what evidence I bring to you. You're not interested in evidence. Your own. Wait, wait, wait. Are you interrupting? Are you interrupting? Right. Let's have a conversation. I'm getting. This is my final comment, and then I'm done. Right. Right. Because. 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 Okay. I'm going. To, I'm going to talk to you guys. Right. So, in terms of. In terms of. In terms of, in terms of, if you go to the Low Country Digital History Initiative, you will find out, you will find out in the section under African Participation and Resistance to the Trade. You will find, you will find, you will find that there is plenty of evidence to demonstrate that Africans did participate in the slave trade. And I want to encourage the black community to do better than this guy. Because this guy is not helping you. If you're going to make arguments that are not evidentially based, you're going to hold the black community back. He's running. The black community He's will running. never advance when the people who are speaking you, about black rights and the black rights movement are dominated by ignorance. He's running. He's you running. He's need to reconcile Imagine. the debate around slavery to African participation in the slave trade as well. We're done, bro. Have a good day. You're running. Yeah, I, I'm, You're running, yeah, I'm running. I'm You're done. Running. I'm done. You're running. There's no. Yeah, I'm running. He's There's running. no participation. He showed you the Google, but you didn't show anything. You just had a war. Right. When, have the war listen, listen, so, when you see the price, ladies and gentlemen, if, if anyone's got a question about Christianity, I'm going to go over there. Can you go over here?